On the Robo Shadow platform, we have various different integrations with various different platforms. Now, one of the most popular RMMs that our users tell us about is the Ninja platform. So this product is rising to just absolute success globally. And I just don't think that we've ever come across someone that has a bad word to say about Ninja. And in fact, I believe that there's 65% of anyone that has an RMM on the RoboShadow platform is has Ninja as their RMM. And here we've got today, so we've got Javon from Sterling Solutions. And Javon is not just a wonderful fan of Ninja, which we're going to talk about. He's actually the guy that helped us engineer the integration with Ninja on the RoboShadow platform. So uh, I'll get Javon to speak about that in a bit more detail. But now Ninja can control RoboShadow, which is something that we've had many requests from many users. So Javon, thank you for ever so much uh, for taking the time uh, today uh, to spend with us. So really, um, just wanted to ask maybe just the first question around um, what is it that you like about Ninja and if, I, if I'm not mistaken you've had a bit of a history with Ninja in terms of trialing it in the early days um, and it wasn't until sort of in the near sort of distant past as it were um, that you've only just moved over so yeah what's your, your experience being with Ninja please? Absolutely and, and thanks for having me uh, but our main experience with Ninja we trialed it initially back in the early stages when it was still called Ninja RMM and we, we enjoy the platform quite a bit, but it does take quite a lot to move over all of your assets to a fresh new remote monitoring tool. Uh, so we didn't move forward with it back then, uh, but we hopped on it just this year due to a recent integration with Halo PSA, and we are absolutely loving it so far. So it was particularly that that Halo integration that's really sold it for you now. And that's another titan of industry as well. There's lots of great feedback. I believe we're going to be doing a video about that in the future as well. So it was that Halo integration that brought you over and was just allow you to just kind of centralize as much of your sort of tech as, as, as humanly possible. Um, and then just on a day-to-day -day, um, perspective, what is it about the, the products or maybe other aspects of the products you enjoy? And do you spend time integration with the Ninja team? How is their support? Absolutely. Their their support is fantastic. We speak a lot with our channel representative over at Ninja uh, to try to work out any of the kinks that we have with the platform. Uh, but day-to-day -day use in the platform, it, it's an incredible platform to use every day. Uh, it gives you all the information that you need when you're looking through your assets, and it allows an incredible amount of customization when it comes to the custom fields that you're able to use. One of my favorite aspects of Ninja are using these scheduled automations that go ahead and work in tandem with custom fields. You can have scripts run daily, hourly, and then they populate that information right into the custom field and it's waiting for you right when you come over to check it. Wonderful. And just, I'm very much a kind of Silicon Valley fanboy and I've just, I've watched the sort of Ninja story um, as, as they have evolved. I've spent time with their product team as well. They are really obsessed about the customer. Now, I've worked with MSPs for, for years. I've owned an MSP for over 20 years. And I don't think that the software suppliers to the MSP industry really kind of do do that thing. They say that they put the customer first, but I don't think they do the greatest job of that. So Ninja's just set up in that kind of Silicon Valley kind of wondrous kind of let's just put the customer at the front of everything. Um, and they just tend to do like an amazing job of that. And that's something that you really feel comes through from the Ninja team? Absolutely. Even if you just take a look at their, even Ninja's YouTube channel, they are posting there weekly, if not daily, when it comes mm. to stuff that's going on with the platform, ways to improve your use of the platform. And they are incredibly active within their Discord community as well, which mm. is nothing that I've seen in this, in this industry. Uh, and they're always ready to help in that Discord. Even if you're waiting on a support mm. ticket, there's definitely somebody in the community that's willing to help you out. Yeah, because I think we even said off camera, you kind of said a lot of companies pretend to be customer first and really put the customer mm -hmm. at the center of everything, but they don't always pull it off. Um, and it's just lovely to see that Ninja's kind of really sort of flying that flag as well. So um, I'll be remiss to say, um, if I didn't ask. So you are, uh, 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 to say rather, you are really popular with my team because you were the guy that helped us with the integration. Can, so can you just explain um, what is it about the Ninja integration that we've got now in RoboShadow? So how does that sort of help you on a day-to-day -day basis? Absolutely. It, the integration is a huge help when it comes to onboarding. The main goal of this is to save time as an MSP because, as everyone knows, the, that's the main thing we're short on here is, yeah. is time when it comes to helping everyone out, when it comes to putting out the fires. So in order to have a little bit of extra time, it really helps to make sure that we don't need to log into every single one of our platforms when we're looking to bring in some new users. So the main purpose of this integration was to 
get rid of those manual steps. We are able to deploy Ninja as I'm deploy. Once we get Ninja on the asset, we're able to go ahead and deploy the rest of our stack using Ninja itself. You're able to set conditions with Ninja that check to see if a program is installed on it. And if not, it goes ahead and runs your deployment script that you made. And the script that the guys at RoboShadow helped us work through will go ahead and create that organization for you inside the RoboShadow platform. So you don't need to log in there and create the organization like previously. You don't need that organization key. It'll go ahead and create it right for you. The assets will show right in that new organization and you're good to go with your whole stack on there and you didn't even need to put a finger down. Fantastic. And it is uh, probably one of the, the most requested features to have on the platform as well. So the fact that you've um, took it upon yourself and helped us with that integration has been absolutely amazing. Um, you are very, very popular um, here with the RoboShadow team. So we thank you for that. Um, and then maybe, uh, if you don't mind me asking, just a little bit more about your business in general. So where are you based and what is it um, that you feel that you, that you do for your customers? So what, I get the feeling that you guys are fairly popular as a brand locally. What is it you feel that you do that makes your customers so happy with you guys? I feel that down here in southern Georgia, uh, it is a little bit more of a rural community. We don't have the, the bustling city advantage of uh, being able to have hundreds of businesses just down the block, which can be a huge bonus for MSPs having all those potential prospects. Yep. But over here, uh, it really prioritizes having a close, tight-knit connection with your customers because they will they will pass the word more more so than any anything else here. It's word of mouth is really what reigns king. And that's why Sterling IT is thriving down here because we're the main choice when it comes to any IT work in the local area, when it comes to here, when it comes to the surrounding towns. People, people know about Sterling IT because of the service that we give. They hear about it even if they haven't had any IT work done. You still know about Sterling IT. And if you have a problem with your computer, if your business needs some help getting some technology running, then you're, you're definitely going to be showing up in our office. And Sterling, your your CEO, I kind of see him on social media as a brand. He's quite prominent in the local community, as I, I kind of gather. Absolutely. Sterling has been prominent here. He's been doing IT over here for nearly 30 years. He worked with the city as well, very closely with the city, which is why uh, we run most of that city infrastructure here at Sterling IT. Uh, and it's really his inspiration that keeps us giving our, our customer-focused mindset here. Uh, and that's why I fit in so well here. I do have a bit of a background in the service industry, uh, and I feel like my passion for technology combined with that experience really helps elevate the service that we're given here. Fantastic. Javon, uh, you, uh, as I say, are very, very popular with the RoboShadow team, so I'm sure we're going to meet up at an event at some point, and then we're going to take you all out for drinks or something like that. Uh, <laughs> if ever you come over this way to London, we would definitely like to host you and your team uh, as guest of honor. So thank you ever so much for taking the time. It's been really good. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. Cheers. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching.